In today's video, we are creating easy fall projects that anyone can do. This is the next episode of my fall 2023 series. If you missed any previous videos, I will have a link to the playlist in the description box below. I hope you enjoy. For this project, we're using one of Dollar Tree's oak leaf bundles. Remove the leaves as well as the berries from the stems. They'll come in a set of two, so you'll want to clip that center section off and have individual leaves. You're going to need a total of 10 leaves for this project. Then we're going to take two of the largest ones. We're going to hot glue them overlapping each other at the ends. You'll want to try to push that as flat as possible in the center. And then you're going to take your other smaller leaves and start gluing them on the opposite sides, overlapping each other. Continue to do this until you form a circle. If you need to, you may need to trim some of the stems on the bottom of the leaves off just to make sure that it stays flat in the center. So it should be looking something like this. We're going to flip it over and start pulling the leaves upwards. So this is the back side of our leaves. Then we can glue in those berries. I'm going to do that between two of the leaves and do that on opposite sides of each other. Then remove all of your glue strands. You can do that with a hairdryer or a clean paintbrush. And we're going to be using a clear pumpkin shaped candy jar from Dollar General. These are $1 a piece. They are a nice thick plastic and they come in a couple of different colors. I chose the clear because it looks more like glass. We're going to then insert our nice leaf circle and you could add fairy lights, but I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree battery operated votive candle. That's why we wanted to keep that center flat so that this will sit flat inside of it. And this is an easy to do project, but turned out absolutely elegant. For this project, we're going to give this beautiful Dollar Tree sign a nice fall feel using some of Dollar Tree's rub-on transfers. They have a couple of different kinds. I'm going to cut out the pumpkin and leaf bundle as well as one of the birds. I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to place the bird, but I knew I wanted to put that on this project. If you have never used their rub-on transfers, they're very easy to do. You just peel the backing off of it, place your transfer down where you want it on your project, and then use something with a flat edge like a credit card or a burnishing tool. Go over the plastic on top of the image and make sure that it adheres to your project. When you get ready to pull that plastic back, do it very slowly, and if some of the image is not staying on top of your project, just burnish it some more and then slowly lift that plastic away. I'm going to hot glue a raffia bow that I took off of a previous project. I love that it matches the roof and this project is complete. Using one of Dollar Tree's wooden plaques, they come in several different shapes. This is the rectangular one. It measures seven and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. I'm going to give mine a coat of antique wax over the entire piece, but you can paint yours whatever color you like. I wanted mine to have more of a wood tone to it. You're also going to need a few different sized pumpkins. These came off of Dollar Tree picks or bundles. The orange one, I want to mute that down a little bit, so I'm going to paint that with two coats of celery paint and let that dry. 
And for the white pumpkin, I'm just going to paint the stem with some brown acrylic paint. So I did use two of the white pumpkins, and then I decided to take some of that brown acrylic paint, kind of water it down a little bit, and create speckles over top of the celery pumpkin. So we're going to let those dry, and now that our plaque has dried, we're going to take one of Dollar Tree's mini straw bales. So when I saw these, I thought they were so cute. I knew I wanted to use it. I wasn't sure how I wanted to use it in a project, but I thought let's create a beautiful fall display that you can place on your table. So I'm going to hot glue the straw bale to our dried plaque. And then, of course, you're going to want to remove all of that excess straw from when you open it before you glue anything else down. We're also using one of Dollar Tree's Scarecrow Picks. These come in a pack of two with a couple of different colored hats and bows. I chose this one because I like those traditional fall colors. We're gonna place that pick down into the straw bale. And again, make sure you remove any of the straw that falls out before you glue anything else down. So this is how it's looking so far. And I'm going to use one of these pumpkins that's got an odd shape to it. It's bigger on one side and smaller on the other. And it matches the hat perfectly. So I'm going to hot glue that down beside the straw bale. And I honestly can't remember where I found this pumpkin. It may have come off of a bundle. We're going to glue in our other pumpkins. And I like using the various different sizes in the front. And then I'm going to add one to the straw bale. And I'm also using some mini pine cones. This came in a large bag, I believe, from Hobby Lobby, but Dollar Tree also sells mini pine cones. I'm going to add a few of these in there to complete this project. And I think it turned out absolutely beautiful, but I would love to know what you guys think. We're using one of Dollar Tree's oval shaped wooden signs for this project. This one measures about seven and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. We're going to carefully paint the outside edge with a brown acrylic paint. This is the color brown oxide. We'll let that dry and then we're going to paint the top portion with two coats of white acrylic paint. Now that that has dried, this is how it should be looking. We're going to apply a layer of Mod Podge to the white painted surface only. Just apply one even coat and let that Mod Podge dry. We're gonna be using a napkin from Dollar General. This came in a pack of 16 for $2. This has six of the truck images on it. I know some napkins, when you buy them, they only have one side of an image on it. This one actually has six, so you could create several different DIYs with this. Trim out as close to the image as possible. It's okay if you leave a little bit on the outside. We just want this to blend in nicely with our project. Once you have the image cut out, you'll want to remove the top layer only. So you only want that top piece with the image on it. And depending on how many ply your napkin is, you could be removing one or two pieces from the back. Now that the Mod Podge has dried on the sign, we're going to place that napkin piece on top of it, lay a piece of parchment paper on top of the napkin, and then use an iron to reactivate that Mod Podge. I have mine set on 375. You do not have to put a lot of pressure on there. Just go over the napkin. The Mod Podge will seal that napkin to your project. And then you can gently lift that parchment paper up to make sure that everything has adhered. You can add a layer of Mod Podge on top to seal that in as well as a hanger on the back. But look how beautifully this applied that napkin with no wrinkles and no bubbles.
We're using one of Dollar Tree's hanging wood shelves. This one measures 13 inches by 5 inches and we only need the wood for this project. For two of the holes at the bottom, fill those in with wood filler, let that dry, and then sand that down nice and smooth. I'm going to paint mine with two coats of a brown acrylic paint in the color Brown Oxide. Now, I wish I had only done one coat because I like the way that wood grain showed through, but it still turns out pretty. Once the paint dries, apply one thin layer of Mod Podge. You only need to do this to the bottom half, but I wanted mine to have the same sheen, so I went over the entire sign with the Mod Podge. Let that dry. I'm also using one of Dollar Tree's fall wooden cutouts. They have several different sayings in it. This one says, hello fall, and I'm gonna give that one coat of black acrylic paint. I'm using a napkin from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna remove the back two layers, so I'm only left with the front layer, and I only need one section of this napkin. So once I cut that out, I'm also going to cut out the image. I'm gonna leave the bottom portion where the table is that the pumpkin's sitting on and trim as close as I can around the pumpkin itself. Now that our sign has dried from applying that Mod Podge, we're gonna place our image or our napkin right there at the bottom where we filled in those holes. Place a piece of parchment paper. Using our iron on 375, we're gonna gently go over that parchment paper to adhere our napkin to the side. It is important to use the parchment paper because it will reactivate that Mod Podge wherever it was applied. To remove the excess napkin, just take a piece of sandpaper, go around the edge in one direction, and it will come off and give you a nice smooth finish. I am going to add a layer of Mod Podge over the image to seal that and protect it and let that dry. Using a piece of twine to create a hanger, I'm going to feed one end through each of those holes at the top, and then I'll double knot each end on the back so that the knot will stay to the back side of the sign. You could add a little bit of hot glue if you like to make sure that the knot stays in place and does not feed back through that hole. Cut your excess off, and then we're going to attach our Hello Fall that we painted directly in the center right above our napkin that we adhered. Now we're going to create a bow using a piece of twine and some burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut that down slightly wider than the sign, and then I will dovetail the ends by folding that in half and cutting each end at an angle. Then I'm gonna use some buffalo check ribbon. I get this from Amazon, and I have that listed in my Amazon store, and the link to that's in my description box below if you're interested. I thought that this would match perfectly with the napkin on the front of our sign. So I created a loop and then I'm going to pull that over slightly longer than the burlap and you'll cut two pieces down the same size. You only need to dovetail one end of each of this ribbon because the other end will be the loop for our bows. So I'm just going to fold the opposite end over to create a loop and then hold that up to the burlap to see to make sure it's going to be the tails will be long enough. So you'll just attach one going one way and the other going the other way. Then lay your twine on top and then flip that over and then tie it really tightly to make sure it pinches all together in the middle. Then you'll double knot that on the back and then I like to add an extra knot just to make sure that it's not going to come apart. Then you can cut your excess twine off. Make sure when you turn it around that you pull your tails down and you fluff out your loops. And then we're going to attach this to the top of our sign using some hot glue.
We're using four of Dollar Tree's wooden pallets. Now they have a couple of different sizes. This is the larger one. This is the barcode if you need it. Remove all of the labels from the bag and we're going to apply one thin layer of Mod Podge. We're only going to apply it to the top slats. We don't want to get it on those back pieces, so I'm being really careful not to go over the edges. We will do that for all four pallets and then set those to the side and let them dry. You'll need two different kinds of napkins. I'm gonna be using this beautiful one that we just used in our previous project. Both of these came from Hobby Lobby. The other one has some gorgeous leaves and pine cones on it. Remove the backing so you're only left with the top layer of the napkin. And this one, of course, has four pumpkin designs on it. Now, some of it has some wording on two sections of that. So I'm gonna cut out the two sections that don't have the wording but we're not gonna do like we did in our previous project. We're not gonna be cutting out the pumpkin. We wanna keep that top layer of the dark color. Then we're gonna take our other napkin, remove the backing, and because this one's smaller, we're just gonna cut that one in half. Now that our Mod Podge has dried on our palettes, we're gonna place one of the napkins and center that on top of the palette, add a piece of parchment paper, and gently iron over top of this to reactivate that Mod Podge. Make sure that you get all of the edging so that it will not tear or rip. We're gonna set that to the side and let it cool down and we're gonna do each individual palette so we will have two of the pumpkin ones and then two of the ones with the leaves and pine cones. Once they've cooled down, and now it's time to sand all of the excess napkin away. I'm using a finger sander, and you can find this on Amazon. I have this linked in my Amazon store in my description box below if you are interested. It makes this process very easy. I do find that it is easy if you take an X-Acto knife, or in this case, I'm using a Dollar Tree rotary blade to go in between the slats to break the napkin up, and then gently go over each side of the slats to really make that crease right on the edge. If you go over it a few times with a piece of sandpaper, they will gently peel back without tearing off of the palette itself. This is so beautiful with these napkins. We're gonna do this for all four palettes and it does not take long at all. I know it looks like it's time consuming, but literally it only took a few minutes for each one. Once you have completed that, we're gonna take some of these wood sticks from Dollar Tree. They come in a package. We're gonna use four of those as stems for our palettes. And we're gonna hot glue that right in the center between the two middle slats. So I am gonna put some hot glue on that piece on the back as well as the two slats in the center and hold that in place. You're also gonna need four of Dollar Tree's tumbling tower pieces. We're gonna be gluing one to the back of each of the pallets so that they will be able to stand freely. And I'm going to place some hot glue on those two center slats and then make sure that our tumbling tower piece is flush to the bottom so that it will stand on its own. We're gonna do that for each one of the palettes, adding a stem and a tumbling tower piece. I wanna create a bow for each one, so I'm using some leaf ribbon, some light colored burlap, some dark colored burlap, and some of this white mesh type ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start off by cutting these at eight inches, so I'll cut two of the light colored burlap, four of the smaller thin leaf ribbon, two of the darker, and then two of that white. Then I'm gonna take the white, the light burlap, and the dark burlap and cut those in half the long way. So they'll be a little bit wider than our smallest ribbon. Then we're gonna take a piece of twine. 
We're going to lay that out on our table, and then we're going to alternate our ribbon. I started off with the darker burlap, then the lighter burlap, then the white, then the leaf. You'll wrap your twine around the center of this, and then on the back side, you'll want to pull that really tightly so it pinches and gathers together in the middle, and then double knot that. Take your excess twine, and we're going to add that to the stem of our palette and tie that in the back, double knotting it, and then you can cut your excess off. Now, I cut my ribbon a little too long. I wanted it a little bit shorter, so I do trim some off of each side. Then separate my ribbons out to kind of fluff up that bow. You'll want to make a bow for each one of your palettes and attach them to the stems. Using some Dollar Tree poster stickers, I'm going to spell out the word fall and attach each one of these stickers to an individual palette. You could add some Mod Podge. Mine adhered very well, so I didn't need to do that. To line the lettering up, I'm going to line each palette side by side and then use a ruler to start off with the first letter so I can make sure everything lines up. And this project turned out absolutely gorgeous, but I would love to know what you guys think. If you enjoyed today's projects and you haven't done so already, I would love for you to click that subscribe button right below this video. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please take care and I will see you guys next time.